Manufacturing is part of Western Pennsylvania's DNA and a critical component to our economy. When manufacturing grows, everyone in our community has the opportunity to prosper. If you take a look at the latest employment report, you're going to find out that there are several jobs that are unfilled. Skilled jobs. Well-paying jobs. These are jobs surrounding operations of very advanced, sophisticated equipment. Instead of pushing students into that four-year degree, oftentimes we want students to become very good at trades and technical schools. I think the world of work and the, the real world that will come for, for those children who are now in the PK-12 system is how adaptable can you be to the changes that are happening so rapidly. The maker movement is a great gateway for a manufacturing career because as we're thinking about how to make something. That's the first step into learning about manufacturing. Introducing these kids to this type learning early is really important because they'll be comfortable with it and feel comfortable with the experimenting and the creating and they continue to do that. It's more than just the technology. It's the soft skills that underline the use and interaction with that technology. They'll have to know how to work in a team, how to resolve conflict, how to organize and manage projects. It's opening up lots of possibilities for them at home as well as in the classroom. And they go into the workforce, it makes them better at what they do. The center itself really to me is about creativity and technology and innovation. It's the marriage of those three things. Bringing the concept of making into schools is the opportunity to expose children to the careers, the lifetime learning and activities that are available. They love it. I mean, I think any student loves to work with their hands. So it's the ability to be very comfortable <laughs> engaging with something that they're not familiar with, to explore it, to learn how to ask questions, to be critical consumers of the knowledge or information that's being given to them. And there are students that are definitely book smart, but there are also the kids that are so creative. They can be really part of that group and collaborate, and they have a real big part in this makerspace. This is a place where they excel, and they continue to do that throughout elementary school, that once they get into middle school, it won't be such a new thing that they'll be comfortable with it and feel comfortable with the experimenting and the creating. Our motto at the IU1 Fab Lab is dream it, design it, and make it, and so we live by that. Fab Lab is actually short for Fabrication Lab. It is a lab with not only technology, but also hands-on tools for students, educators, and community members. It's a design studio where students get to create whatever it is they want to do. We have 3D printers, laser cutters. I've made a keychain, a nightlight. It's really prototyping. It's really getting students to be creative. We're simply providing them the tools to make their ideas become a reality with our mobile lab. We go out and spend five days with our mobile lab in districts. It was a field trip at my own school. The biggest thing though is that students are able to have a chance to collaborate. You know, we have several technology parks right here within a 10 mile radius that we can be tapping into those resources, and we should be. We should have students out having that work experience prior to them leaving 12th grade with all of our schools. Callus Connections Manufacturing Innovation Challenge is a high school program where students work with manufacturers to solve real world, real life problems. You make sure they get to see all the aspects of the manufacturing process and understand what goes into making a product. All of this involves analysis, modeling, testing, which is what STEM is all about. STEM is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. I think it gives them a great appreciation for where stuff comes from and how to potentially create their own ideas and things. And we also partner with other organizations in the community to give students a wide variety of experiences. The grow local, eat local food thing, I, I believe it should apply to manufacturing as well and support local as much as possible. It's a great gateway for a manufacturing career. 
Manufacturing is going to provide significant opportunities for a person to develop their career. With the older students, high school, college age, even, wow, I could do this as a job. It's all mostly hands-on. You're showing them how to design, you're showing them the design process, machine operations. I mean, you're showing them what they can do outside of school, what they can do as a career. Getting quality, quality pay, quality benefits. And also entrepreneurship, the idea of creating something in a makerspace that becomes a prototype that could lead to you starting your own business. It really provides the, the, the full package for students to have those essential skills. So we know it's not a one-size-fits-all solution, and so we want to make sure that everyone has a chance to learn about the exciting things going on in manufacturing. Most critically is the adaptability and what can you contribute then in fact, can, do you believe? Is there a sense of mission and purpose within them to utilize whatever they have on hand to work on behalf of the greater good.